Hello guys and welcome back to another video with Warcast Gaming. I'm Warcast Bear. Hope you guys are doing well. So today we're going to go through melter damage or the heat damage on the end of barrels. Now you can apply this to melter guns, you can apply it to flamers, all sorts of weapons. I'm going to do it on my Invictus Warsuit as the video, but you can also see pictures of how I've done it as a slightly different step on my Imperial Knights melter lance. So it's a video for one of our viewers. So let's crack on with it. So first things first, you've got to pick the right weapon to apply this to. Can't just apply it to any random weapon. So flamers, melters, uh, even missile launchers, potentially last cannons and even plasmas. All of those sort of heat based weapons will work for using this on. I obviously have gone for the flamer on the Invictus Warsuit. First thing I end up doing with this, obviously I undercoat it with silver, i.e. lead belcher for what I'm doing here. But then you can also highlight it up, uh, so you give it all the edge highlights and everything like that, if that's what you want to do. You don't have to, but it does make it look a bit better. So I start with a base coat of warp block bronze for my Invictus Warsuits Flamer. Uh, I started with a darker colour because I think on smaller uh, metal weapons having that darker colour there kind of just helps to um, bring out the colour in it uh, more so than when you do it on the larger model. So as you'll see on my Imperial Knight uh, Melter weapon you'll find that I don't actually go and use the warp lot bronze on that, I just go straight with my first shade over the top of lead belcher. So the first shade I come in with is Seraphim Sepia, you could use Agrax Earth Shade as well and you want to go down probably around about three quarters of the uh, muzzle of the weapon and that will give you a nice sort of tarnished burnt area. Next up we're gonna go in once that's dried with Jujji Violet, uh, that gives you the sort of blend between the Agrax or Seraphim Sepia to get to the eventual final blue colour. Over the top of the Warpot Bronze a lot of this doesn't show up very well but it's it's enough because that's obviously what I was going for for my Invictus War so I'm trying to go for an incredibly burnt look. So the next step will be a Drakenhof Nightshade wash over the top of the Trichy Violet. The I go about a quarter of the way on that. So the very tips of the muzzle should be quite bright because that's where the heat's coming from. So all I do here is I go back in with some lead belcher, tie it in light, paint in the edges of the end of the muzzle and then I'm going to go back over with some more blue. And once the silver is dry and then go back over with some more Drakenhof Nightshade mainly just over the silver. Uh, this just helps to show that obviously the silver is not going to be pure, it's just going to be a little bit tarnished as well. And once you get around to letting that dry, you will have finished doing all the heat burn. Okay, so once that's all dry, then you'll have your finished product. Obviously I've done it on the Invictus Warsuits Flamer and uh, the pictures obviously for the Imperial Knights Melter are there as well. Just ignore the step for walk lot of bronze otherwise do the same so hopefully you guys have liked this video and hopefully we are enjoying the content like us on facebook like us on instagram like us on here youtube um comment to ask for any questions or any suggestions you've got um and obviously we shall be back with another video soon cheers guys bye bye